1962 Impala Restoration, Part 3. Let's get into it. Okay, in Part 2, I had completely disassembled the body. And then I welded in a four-point frame stiffener to keep this body from twisting and flexing as I remove it from the frame and install it onto the frame fixture. And what I'm doing here is getting all of the caulking out of the way, scraped off. This is some underlayment that's got to go too because we are going to be media blasting. And here we're starting with the door. I'm just doing a really nice thorough job. Really being conscious of uh, doing a good job and not warping any of the panels, keeping uh, the air pressure in mind, the angle, correct media. Yeah, bad situation if you destroy some uh, body panels. Not good. And the media blast is just slow and methodical, just doing a really nice thorough job. Now some of the uh, parts on this car are not going to be media blasted and you'll see that. And the reason is those panels will be replaced. So we always want to keep in mind what the customer's paying. We don't want him to pay for uh, you know, unnecessary work. And here we go with the next step. Now I'm applying PPG DP90, and that's an epoxy primer. And that is going to seal the metal. Uh, it's really important if you're applying a coating to bare steel, it has to be a zinc based primer or something with zinc or an epoxy. A lot of times I'll see people put. Uh, a urethane based primer or, or even a lacquer primer on bare steel moisture will go behind that and it will cause corrosion and that will cause problems later in the build and here we go done and here's what I was mentioning you can see the uh, passenger door that's completely media blast and uh, epoxy primed the outside of the driver's door has not been and that is going to require a skin here's a shot of the inside that's all been media blasted cleaned up looks nice and we've uh, masked off the tag and also the VIN tag really important want to do a really nice quality job on this car quarter panels both are going to be replaced top we're going to work really nice and clean happy with that okay back to the shop and this is going to be one of the last projects that I start in this shop I've had the opportunity to upgrade. I'm still going to be in the same location, but in a different suite in the same building. And I'm upgrading from a uh, 1,450 square foot shop to a 2,600 square foot shop. Now we're going to be removing the Impala over um, in about a week and a half. And this build is going to be really the first build in the new facility. Really, really excited. okay here we go we're gonna get this body off now I'm gonna using the plasma cutter all of the mounting points on this car are in such bad shape the captured nuts the bolts yeah trying to remove those uh, not gonna happen so we're just gonna be efficient here all of this is gonna be replaced anyway we're just gonna use a torch or the plasma cutter here I'm pulling off the uh, rubber biscuit that was hanging halfway off anyway we don't want to use the torch with that in place if if it's not if it's all possible just gonna zip these off and be done get the body off and move on
And it's just bang, bang, bang. Get this off and get this body off. And the body is free. And pull the gantry over. And we're laying a uh, heavy blanket over the roof to protect the roof. And we're getting it all set up. So we can chain hoist this thing up. And slide that frame right out on up from under it. And there goes the old frame. Body and frame officially divorced. Now the frame also has quite a bit of uh, rust damage. I'll show you that here in a second. Uh, now this is the frame fixture and I'm just going to slide this in place. Kind of position it. And... Uh, figure out where the mounts need to be placed on this frame fixture so we can get it up get it mounted solidly and then uh, take off on the body and here's a walk around of the frame and you'll be able to see the damage it'll be pretty evident now the customer is going to inspect this and decide if we're going to proceed with this frame or we're going to get a donor frame hey, and i want to say thank you to all the subscribers and followers uh hey hit that subscribe button leave some comments let me know how i'm doing or if you have some suggestions of uh other other things you'd like to see in my video page there's quite it's pretty there's a lot of variety something for everyone from welding to restoration yeah this frame definitely has a few issues uh, it is repairable also but we may be in need of a donor okay part four in the works and as always hey thank you for watching